Hello. <clears throat> well, I tried unmuting it from OBS instead of the microphone this time, but I still ended up with an incredibly loud sound to announce that I'm done anyway. So, hello. And hello to my cat also. All right. I, uh, episode 7, in which we're going to do a whole bunch of terrible things to people that we pretty much like. And let me see real quick here. I did not open the game yet, which, you know, that's kind of a good thing to do if you intend to play it. And we can... Eh, why not? Eh. And start the clock. The clock is started. All right, we're in it. Why do people... betray each other? Because it's necessary to get the rest of the plot. So last time, we reached an actual character-based ending. Pray for us. And now our usual ceremonial. Skip ahead. To the flowchart. Right, so. Last time we reached an ending which seemed very much to us to have information that would let us move forward in this ending. So we can try that later. But before that, let's see, this one we... Hmm. Again, it's getting a little hard to keep everything straight just because we're jumping around. All, I'm, I'm jumping around a lot. But I feel like it's probably better if we just bite the bullet and betray Luna and start moving down this path. Because the, the further along each of these paths we get, the less jumping back and reading a whole bunch of nonsense we'll have to do. And again, like this will be the last time that we have to read through everybody investigating all the rooms that we explored during the first round. So that'll clear things up. So... Uh, I hope you'll all join me in gritting your teeth and doing probably the worst possible thing that I can imagine so far in this game. We don't have time to talk about this. Choose Betray. Okay. We don't know if she'll... It, well, you heard Fi. I hate it. Alright, yeah, we can see it. Oh. Alright. Alright, so Tammy OG is still shook because this is one of the two where that we did find their body. Do we really Well you chose betray because of what I said, right? Yeah, that's why. Don't worry. You made the right choice. Well Zero will tell you if I lied or not. Yo, what? What's up? He will? How do you know? What's going on with you? Ziggy! I know! Hey, what are you kids doing over there? We're about to... You'll see in a minute. Okay. Let's go, Sigma. Wait. Hold on. Every other time that I've gone back and revised my choice in the yellow and the blue one, they didn't know what was going on. But this one, now he's confused about her? So is the person who's conscious? I don't know. It's weird. Good, good, good. <laughs> Looks like you're all here. Finally. Let's get ready to rock! This doesn't count as something we've seen? Ambedex game! Uh -huh. Round one! The results! If everybody would please direct their eyes to this monitor... Here are the results from your game. Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. I hate it. I 
hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Sigma? Why did you and Phi do that? All we had to do was choose Ally three times, and we could all escape together. After this, we only would have needed two more rounds, and we would have all had nine points. I know. But now we... Why? Uh, yeah. It was me. I told him to betray you. What? There's a way to get out faster. If you're successful twice with Betray, you'll get three points each time, which gives you six. That means you'll have nine BP after the second AB game. I know that. Is that why you chose Betray? So you can escape before the rest of us? Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to get out first or anything. Just wanted to have a little leverage. How is leverage supposed to help you? Well, I was planning on getting out of here with everybody else and he... You're lying. What makes you think I'm going to believe that? Their eyes met for a long moment, but all I could see in Luna's was sadness and disappointment. God damn it! Hey, what were you thinking? I'm sorry, Alice. Ooh. Oh, right. Uh... I didn't think you'd choose Ally. What? You really think I'd betray you? Well, no. That's what I thought at first. But Kay told you to choose Betray, didn't he? Yes, I did. Right, in this one, everyone's pit against the person that they essentially know, except for us, because Alice was against Clover. Uh, right, it was Kay and Clover versus Alice, and I think Dio and Quark versus Tenmuji is the other trio. I was sure you would vote so. Are you listening? I'm not going to vote Betray against Clover. Is that so? You never considered that we might choose to betray you? What? Clover would never choose that, of course. But what if I was your sole opponent? I understand it might seem strange of me to say this, but who would trust a man who hides his face? If I were in your position, I would be quite certain my masked opponent would choose betray. Well, but it wasn't just you. Clover was there too. Yes, she was. But if I'd chosen to end an argument by force, do you think she would have had any chance? I was certain you'd choose Betray for that very reason. So that was why you did it? Yes. After he explained his thinking to me, I thought he had a good point. It's all right. I understand. I'm so sorry. I apologize. This is very unfortunate. The past is the past. There's no point complaining about it. Well, they're being mature about this. I'll just have to try and get those points back in the next AB game. Let me give you a little warning, Tenmyoji. That little shit is a hell of an actor. This again. I'll bet you money he's a born con man. I don't know what he is to you, but if I were you, I'd trust that kid as far as I could throw him. And at your age, that can't be much. You hearing me, old man? Keep an eye on him. Yep. All right. Zero. When does the next round start? Let's find out, shall we? <laughs> right. So the three who have won are Luna, Temuji, and Alice. They are all in danger of dying. What a fucking dick! I get car bombed. Although I think technically that might actually be the last time that we see Zero Jr. Unless they show up again later. Because, if you were to examine the flowchart, we have gone through the end results of round one six out of six times. That's it. Unless they show up again, which, let's be honest, you don't make a mascot character like that and then don't use them again, they may be gone. Well then. To the lounge. Right. Alice and Dio. Radical Six.
Who's that lady? He's got a thing on his head. Crew quarters. Who's here? Tamiyoji doesn't want to talk. Luna is relatively understanding. Everybody run. We're almost out of time. I'll just explain it as fast as I can. Okay. Just like before, there are only three possible combinations. Okay. But what are they this time specifically? Alice and I go with Luna. I mean, on some level, I like that just because it is, well, she might not like us any, enough for that, but also we're not going to get to pick anyway, so. Mm -hmm. At least they're together. Clover, I think, would be okay. Find Dio with K. Mm, I don't like Dio or K being potentially ones, because they're the ones I've seen so far run out the door, so I don't really like that. B. We get K, and well, we can stop him essentially, because I don't think he's going to try to kill Alice. Timmy, Uji, and Quora could pair up with Luna. No, oh, red door. Uh, that seems all right. No, that seems okay. B seems alright. C. Alice and I, Clover. Okay, red. Tamuji and Clark. K. Open the green door. Eh. It's alright. Alright, B and C I'm okay with. Not that we're gonna have a say, but <laughs> I'm not going with Kay. I had enough of that last time. Thank you very much. Oh dear. Seems I'm not wanted. I'd like Luna to come with us. Huh? Me? Need someone gullible for the next round? Hey, shut up. Aren't you my partner? Maybe. But I don't want her to think that means I agree with you. <laughs> you betrayed me last time, Fi. And Dio. You betrayed Tenmyoji. Uh-huh. Ah, come on! Didn't I tell you? It was Quark who... Dio! Stop saying that! Anyway, Fi and I won't be choosing Betray this time. Your BP's one right now, isn't it? If you chose Ally and we chose Betray, what would it be? Negative one. I'd die. I didn't want to say it straight out, but... Yeah, we're not gonna go that far just to get out of here. Right, Fi? Yeah. I don't know if she buys that. I don't know if I would buy that. Okay, then I'm going to take a chance on you. <laughs> yes, I've made up my mind. Then that means Quark and I will be going with Kay, since it looks like Alice is pretty determined. Yes, I am. Then I get to go with Alice again. Hooray! I'm totally good with that. What I did to Alice last time was really bad. I want to try to make up for it. So we're going with option C then? That means each group is going through a complimentary door. Sigma, Alice, and Clover are going through the red door. Uh -huh. Ten Miyoji, Quark, and K are going through the green door. Uh -huh. And finally, Dio, Luna, and I are going through the blue door. Any objections? Ten seconds remain until chromatic doors close. Alright, so this time around we're not getting K through the red door, because so far the time when we found the key to his face was when we went through the red door. And again, there are other doors behind the red door, so him going through the red door isn't a guarantee that he'll get the key. But that is where it is. Let's go! Hey, everybody. Three, two, one, zero. Chromatic doors closing. So what's our red door result this time? Well, we're 
not going back to the robot bay. Uh, yeah, so... Oh, this is only our second red door. Okay. So the next thing we should do should probably be to finish this out and get a second... Because we know there's going to be a second blue here and a second blue here. Because we've done blue-green here. So I would imagine they're going to try to keep everything relatively symmetrical. So the, after this, what we should do is probably this branch and then see if we can knock out some of the nubs here. There are three doors, but it looks like they're all locked. I hmm. wonder what this thing does. Well, it's got a lever. Mm -hmm. Can you pull that, Sigma? <laughs> I didn't take a lot of time, doing. Is this maybe the rec room? It opened the door on the right. Hmm. What about them? Details, details. Hardly seems important to me. They gave us a way forward. I say we take it. Come along now. Fine, fine. Oh, Petri. All right. Food, glorious food. I already had dinner. Whoa, this is amazing. Who'd ever need this much underwear? Well, I mean, all these boxes and stuff are panties, right? Oh, Clover. And there are a lot of boxes. Isn't that what it said on the door? No. Clover, dear, it didn't say panty. <laughs> Pantry? It's where you keep food. Uh, oh, I guess that makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. An amusing shade of red, you say. I'd say it's a water storage tank. It's totally full of water. The stuff on the shelves looks like it's mostly bread, maybe a few pastries, but no panties. Clover was right that there's a lot, though. I'd have to agree. Maybe it's where they quarantine sick people. Maybe. Didn't we tell you about Radical Six? I guess that story really was true. Or what if it's the other way around? Yeah, I totally don't have this disease. Ignore the other... For timeline where I definitely start showing symptoms of it. Me either. Giving us food is all well and good, but no spare underwear? That's unforgivable. You know, so far we I don't think we've found any facilities that would be a laundry. Hmm. S seriously? How long are you guys going to keep making fun of me for that? Let's find out. <laughs> Alright. Let's get right down to it. Ooh. Track starting out pretty funky. Okay. 113. So these are all supposed to be dates, I would assume. Hmm. We don't know what to do with those just yet. Basic water. Acidic. Wait just a damn minute. Acidic water you can't drink. Like, but water's pH is 7. It's not how... Hmm. Hello. I'm sorry, what? Why are there 
five A's. That must be the name of the machine or something stupid like that. What's this? A block puzzle. Hmm. What's that thingity we got? Ah, oh, so it's part of the button. Hmm. Oh, 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 you. <laughs> we really are going to do this forever, aren't we? Alright, so let's actually read these. 113, 5, 327. Hmm. But I guess based on this, we should try to figure out what day of the week everything is. And open the appropriate drawers. So 5 7 would be. Hmm. Alright, so I guess that'd be 4 1. Okay, so yeah, this is essentially a full calendar. This is a set of shells set up calendar style. So 4 1 plus 28, 4 29, 30th, 5-7. Uh-huh. Oh, so it's a leap here. Interesting. Oh. Well, yeah, but... Eh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. That works. Not that impressive. Yeah, I noticed. Oh, okay, so we're supposed to... Oh, so it's gonna be a code of some sort. I can't just go into 5-7. But that would be the A drawer number 7, should be. Or I'm going to have to start some machine that'll let me open it. Something. Hmm. Hello. Balance chart, you say. Okay. Alright, so... I'm, I'm probably jumping ahead here still, and we're still in the you have stuff to find phase. How about this one? Oh, I have to hit the other buttons too, don't I? Fair enough. Do this one not have wheel locks? Hmm. Hello. pH balance and a pH tester. Our, you can test our water, I suppose. So we have the water machine. Oh, there's a calendar on the wall. Oh my god. The day the man was abducted. That's weird. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, um... Oh, okay, so yeah, it is a matter of reading. I know, I know, I know. No, 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 no. I know what I'm supposed to do. Shut up. Wow. Yeah. Alright, so... I think you... Mm. Ina's water drinking water beauty products. Interesting. Hmm. I wonder what's specific about these months. Oh, well, unless it's supposed to be like they're telling. Oh, yeah, those are the. Oh, they're giving us the relevant ones. Okay. So, 1-1 one, one isn't just the one and the shared. It's That's April. That's January 1st. Okay. So. Knowing this. 13 would be F3. No, E3. E3. And. Did I say 327? Good god. 327. Point. 327 would be the last one. Would be D the last. <laughs> D14, so E1, F3, E3, D14. I win. Meat. One. D. Fourteen. So I want the letter? Yeah. That's what I did. Did I misread? Three, oh, 327, that's why. I did misread. It's B14. Okay. B14. First shelf, B14. There you go. Doop doop doop. Yoink. Eh, might as well just keep going. Uh, let's see. Five seven seven thirty. Five seven, well, A. One, two, three, four, five. A seven. And A six. A7, A6, and 11, 11 would be... Uh, G7. A7, A6, G7. That. A7. Gimme. Blorp. Shelf A6. Flat. 
And lastly, G7. Last shelf. Last column. Lucky seven. Did I misread it? No, eleven. Oh, I was looking at. Was I looking? No. Eleven, eleven is one, two, three, four, six. Oh my god. At least it's just off by one of those. Good grief. Come on. All right. Let's start collecting. Pasta. Soup. Salad. Fish. Okay. There's a sliding door, but I can't get it open. Uh, let's see about this pH tester. Yes. Okay, it doesn't work like that. Oh, okay, so I just put the ones I just got in. start messing with the water machine then, I guess. Because I don't have whatever button I need. I don't think I have what I need for the button. Right. Hmm. No. What is that? Pull it back here, please. Fine, let's start messing with this thing. Faucet. Water storage. What'd they say? Balancing. I guess maybe we're supposed to drain the one we can't drink? I could. Oh, are they empty? That would be neutral. Yeah, neutral. Okay. Yes, that. Yes, that is correctly filled with neutral water at center. They want two ionized that are basic, plus two, and then one for beauty products, minus three. Yes. Okay, how about the other tanks? Uh -huh. 
great. Now what? I guess here. came in, so nothing's gonna happen over there. Oh. Button, button. Looks like a sliding block puzzle. Yes. Okay, so which one am I moving? Oh, okay. So. Oh, okay. So when it when it stops touching one of these, it automatically freezes in place. So what I want to do is I want to get it so that I can set up a path where it'll stop and fall in the hole. Yeah, okay. Alright. So I want to figure out where I want to set these up so that it will, I can get whatever this is out. And that's the control card to the dolly, I would assume. Right. Or is it different? Let me see what they actually said. You can slide the ice cube right. There's a limit to the number of times each one can be moved. Once you reach that, okay, the, the limit differs. Okay, fine. But I don't know what the limit is, so I can't really think that far ahead. I mean, that seems like a reasonable thing to do with it. Two. Three. That's like okay. So then it would go bop, uh... Essentially what I wanted to do is to get something to land here, because that way it'll go, something I can do will go, oh no, I got it. Oh, 
almost. Because if I can get it go to if I can get it to go here, here, and then here, then I can go bop, 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 bop. So what I want to happen is that, that. But I don't want that to stay there, that's what it is. And if I do anything else, it's not going to finish there. So maybe I should go left, then right, then down. Ah, uh, no. I run out of moves that way. I think that's a good start, though. Down. Left. Down. How else could I get that to do that? Because there's no real way to... Uh, I can't think of any real other serious way of any place that it would to get things to stop and attach themselves. I think I, I th again, I think I'm mostly on the right path. But I can't think of any way to make hit that one stay put. If I do this, it stops there. Which I don't want. And the other way, I'm technically wasting a move. anything by building it up in this direction. I'm going to waste it. Oh, wait, let me try something else. No. I can't, get, I can't get anything situated here which would help any. Nothing will get there in time. So I have one, two, three moves. So it'll be one. I can't circle around up here because that would be one, two, three. Three is there and accomplishes nothing. One, two is where I want it, then that won't do anything. And I'm, apparently that's a waste of time. So the first move would be the left. Up right, but that's still nothing. No, so...
Yeah, see, it's almost right, but I'd need something else to stop it there, and then I could get it to go down. And it's, it's a, just a matter of turns. It's not a matter of whether or not it moves. And in three turns, I don't have enough to get that from there to there. And then form the rest of the path. I guess it's a question of move efficiency. Nothing really to let me get into this niche, which should help. Or to put something off, hang off here. Again, almost. But I still need something to hit there, or else I'm going to run out of time. How many more moves do I have anyway? One. And then a bunch of dead ends for nothing. Fail. That's one, again, that's one way to get something there, but that's a completely ineffective way to get there, because you can get two there much quicker. And I still need another one over here. And again, even if I'm in this zone, it doesn't help me, because all I can go is go bop, 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 and then nothing. The only solid way is to get something to this block. Yeah, I know. Eh, eh. Eh, eh. Right would just basically throw it away, so I don't want that. Let's try eh, eh. Oh, that's... Oh, wait a minute. That's interesting. Now, wait. If I did this, this... Oh, uh, no, that's it. That's definitely it, because now I'm going to go this way. Down. Over. Stop it there. One, two, three, four. <laughs>
Gimme. And a warm draw. Put in the machine. But what about the pH tester? Okay, close it. What the heck is that on the floor? Oh, it's just siding. Content of acidic water vessel incorrect. Please rectify. Neutral incorrect. Basic. Can I put them in a different order? No. I would assume too I would assume that they would want 9974, which is what I gave them. Calendar. The day the man was abducted. Well, who's the man? Does that mean me? Am I the man? In which case, I'd be the last shelf B previous. I guess I'm the man. Whoa. Okay, well, that's the bonus password. Take care of. Alright. Still not sure what's going on here. As far as what they want for their waters. Here's a question. Let's fill up a beaker with zero water. Where's my beaker? That's really faint. Oh, so they're all off by one. God damn it. Well, that's a dick move. Fine. 
neutral water should be six plus one. Basic water would be nine, six plus three. Six minus two for four. Very well. Hey, hey. This is the nutrition part. Okay. And everybody's gonna get a different balance. So. A, B, C, D, E. Oh, okay. So. So A is taken care of. Alright, so B. Let's just see. Hello, cat. So, what if everything starts with that off? B is gonna want. a lot less of stuff. So let's see, to get D, and that again, so let's see, the baseline, so D wants the same amount of bread, D wants more meat, and one more vegetation, than your baseline of A. So what has one more meat and one more vegetable than its counterpart? Well, I can give it one more be veg by switching out a fish for a pot for a, a blue for a brown. That'll give the veg up. And then I want to meet up. Oh no, I can just no, I can just switch a purple for a green. And that'll give me one extra meat, one extra veg. Oh, that'll give me one extra everything. Okay, let's see, let's, so, 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 so everybody has A's right now. Everyone has A's loadout. C wants the same with one extra vegetable. So are any of these the same as the other with one more vegetable? Yes. So to make C happy, trade out a blue and a brown. I forget which way it's gonna go though. Right now. They want two browns, no blues. He wants like no vegetable. He wants four vegetable total. So B is gonna probably be last because it's all gonna be getting like leftovers of everybody else. Uh, D wants compared to baseline. Let's see. E wants compared to baseline two more vegetable and one more bread. Two more vegetable and one more bread would be switching the green and the purple. That should make E happy. Two more, right, so two more veg and one more bread would be yes. 
so he's going to get a purple where he had a green. Very good. And let's see, we want... Hmm. So let's give D baseline again. Figure out what we need to do to make him happy. He wants extra meat, extra veg. So plus one meat, plus one vegetable. So which one of these is plus one meat, plus one vegetable from the other? Well, that's a plus one vegetable. Uh, oh! Uh, yellow is... Uh, blue is plus one, plus one from yellow. So his yellow will become a blue. There you go. <laughs> God damn it. You've got to be kidding me with this stuff. Oh, hang on. Did the machine stop? I think the clock stopped. No, oh, I had a time. Oh, I had a timeout in chat. Oh, jeez. I gotta be careful of that. See, since Twitch is sometimes a complete piece of shit, sometimes everything will just stop doing what it's supposed to be doing. But it should be working again. So yeah. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, terminate remove launch. Yeah, it's like I, if there was a way I could set it up so it just automatically restarts the Python program whenever it crashes out, that'd be nice. But I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Hello. Yes, let us do that thing that you said. Star Star Moon. Boulder. Sun, sun, star. Map. Mm -hmm. Cards. And the next game, round two. And the key. Well, I don't want to carry around a jug full of slightly acidic water, so I'm going to go ahead and dump this. Meanwhile, I am quite thirsty. And that should be natural pH 7. And that way, we can stay hydrated as we leave this room. Okay. Do it. Happy New Year! I done did it. Hooray for me. Ooh. I think this is the first time we've opened the lock on this hallway. Not that it matters that much. Hello. An ambidex gate has been opened. 
Oh, jeez. 45 minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Rude. One of the other teams must have done it. But the rest of us aren't even back yet. Just that. Well, I guess we know which group happened to. Yes, we did, but... Then the team that opened the AB gate must have been the ones who went through the blue door. That would be Luna, Vi, and Dio. Yeah, it sounds like Dio. There's an explanation for that, I promise. I'm not really worried about that. Just tell me, have any of you seen Quark? No. He's gone. On the other side of the green door, we found a room called the Treatment Center. We found our key cards and left. But on our way out, he just disappeared. Oh. No, that's not it. Look at this map. I know, everything back there is connected, it's fine. Bit of a long route, huh? Warehouse B, yoink, blue. It looks like there's a pretty big room in the middle there. Big warehouse, in fact. What is it? A warehouse similar to the one on floor A. Mm -hmm. In any event, we've spent some time searching, but have been unable to locate Quark. That is a possibility. Could be. I will return and see. I'm going back through the blue door. Figure I'll take a look at the area Luna and her team were searching. Right. I guess there's nothing for it. I'll help look for him. Me too. Right, let's go. Come on, Clover. Right behind you. Alrighty. Until right, so we head to the blue door. Okay, hop to the elevator. Where are we going? Pressure room. Now? Weird. It looks like a bunch of hazmat suits, probably for protection against viral or chemical agents. Let's put some on just for funsies. Yeah, that's the idea. We should ask Luna's group about them. They investigated this room first. Well, let's have a look then. Team. Damn. Oh, Quark. Where the hell did you go? I should have kept a closer eye on him. If I'd just been watching. Hmm. So there is no point to that scene at all, basically. Being there, at least. Hey, it's that big old warehouse he was talking about. It's pretty close. I'll give you that. A couple differences, though. Uh huh. Have a look over there. White doors. Yeah, seems like it. See over here? They've got a box next to them, just like the ones next to the other doors. That's great. How about what happened to Quark? No. First we look for Quark. Thank you. Alright. Let's go. Fine. Into the elevator! You know, I think this is the first... I don't know, I think... I'm trying to think. If you got lost in one of these before. I don't, I don't know. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, it's just you. Yeah, what about you? I'm guessing you haven't found Quark? No. I ran into Clover and Alice in the warehouse up on floor A. They told me about Quark and how you're all looking for him. Uh-huh. So he hasn't come back to the warehouse? Nope. Maybe he just went off to ruminate on a solution to this game. Chewing his cut, so to speak. 
Well, that's what ruminants do, isn't it? Hmm. Uh, why would I do that? It sounds so boring. Why the hell would I be worried about some kid I've never even seen before? What? For all I know, he's Zero Senior. He could be hiding in some swank little cubbyhole, swirling a glass of brandy and gloating. He could. Look at all those fools running around. <laughs> That's insane! Well, this whole thing is kind of insane, so... Eh. What, there's no way? Are you sure? Nobody knows what Zero looks like. He could totally be a kid. I warned you, Tenmyoji. I told you it was a bad idea to just swallow everything that little bastard told you. I trust Quark. <laughs> Suit yourself. Just don't come crying to me when it bites you in the ass. Sigma, good. You've got Tenmyoji and Dio with you. Uh huh. We found something. Come on, all of you. Just, what happened? You'll understand when you get there, all right? Okay. Now come on. The crew quarters. Uh oh. I guess we find the bomb in this one too. Jeez. Drama. Oh, for Alice, right. Oh, this again. N no. What in the world? Your heart stops. Your bracelet comes off. Okay, uh, let's see if I remember uh, what happened when we went over the security tapes the fur the other side of this that we've gone down. Right, Alice has the disease, and she probably stabbed herself, and it's probably with her own knife. Luna, I think that Clover went nuts and got revenge on her. But I don't know what's in, what was in her injection gun, so the Luna question is a little uh, off. Because we don't know what she was injected with, and we do know that there's a difference thing to be injected with. Hmm. Hmm. Clover, I think. When Kay and I ran over, she was just kind of standing there next to the bodies. It was pretty clear they were both dead. I think Clover killed them. Me? Kill them? You got into a fight with Alice after the A-B game, didn't you? No. Well, yes, It but looked no. like you two knew each other before you ended up here. So maybe you were trying to get her killed. None of us had any connection to her, which means you're the most likely to have a motive for murder. It's easy to see why she would have killed Luna, too. She probably caught you offing Alice, so you did her in too, so she wouldn't rat you out. Mm. And the A-B game is a motive too. Once someone's dead, they can't vote anymore. That means they'll automatically ally. If your opponent's guaranteed to ally, then that's an easy three points. Me and Dio. Then that would mean Dio had a motive as well. Uh-huh. Yep. Alice saw him killing Luna, so he had to shut her up. Why the hell would I do something like that? Because you're a dick. Pay attention next time. You do it to get an advantage in the next round of the AB game. What kind of cold-hearted bastard kills a lady for a few points? I'm more interested in Alice's condition than in her killer's motives. I am as well. Her clothes are barely disturbed. If it weren't for the knife and... uh... blood, she would look as if she was sleeping. Well, maybe she was just killed while she was sleeping? If she wanted to take a nap, why sit on the floor when there's a bed nearby? That is a little strange. But a better question is, would she really be sleeping right now anyway? Hardly seems like a time for a nap. Again, this would all be relatively reasonable if the wound was self-inflicted. She was probably put to sleep then. By herself. Oh, come on. How did Zero Senior knock all of us out? 
So you're suggesting that Zero Senior knocked them out with the white gas, then killed them both? In two completely different methods? Yeah. However it happened, one of the people in this room did it. Well, maybe not one of the people in this room. I forgot about somebody, didn't I? Are you talking about Quark? He disappears and then suddenly there's a murder? I don't know about you, but that seems pretty suspicious to me. Nah, that's crazy. Quark couldn't have done this. All right, then why'd he disappear? There, there must have been some kind of accident. Then I might have it backwards. If he wasn't the murderer, maybe he was one of the murdered. Well, that would explain his sudden disappearance, right? You son of a bitch. Whoa, whoa, calm down there, big guy. Don't tell me it never crossed your mind. I just said what you were all thinking. Yeah, but we didn't say it. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. Alright, time to head for the AB rooms, guys. Oh, so you're gonna abstain, huh? That's some good luck for you, Clover. Sigma was paired with Alice. Sadly, it looks like she won't be able to vote during this round. If Sigma abstains, then you'll have no one voting against you. Hey, come on, cheer up. This is your chance to escape. Escape? That's right. Right now, your BP's at six. Sigma's saying he won't vote, so if you choose betray... Clover would get three points, bringing her to nine. Oh, so you are going to vote? <laughs> well, you are, right? How exciting. Sigma should have six BP, just like Clover. That means this next round is a one-on-one -on -one fight. If one of them can trick the other one, they'll have enough BP to get out of here. Can't wait to see who wins. <laughs> oh, this is definitely getting interesting. Why are you enjoying this so much? Right. We should get to the Floor A warehouse, guys. Come on. I'd rather be stuck at sex. Yeah? Okay. You'll choose ally too, right? Mm. See, she's like shell shocked. I would again, I would tell her like, look, I'm not gonna again, it's kind of a reverse psychology thing, but I would say, and do well, it's not really for reverse then, but I'd say that I'm going to pick Betray and that she can decide what she wants to do with it, whether she wants to keep it parked or not. I might choose Ally regardless, but you know, I would say Betray. Sometimes just saying that you're going to pick Betray, if you have a good enough reason and you lay that out on the line, it's not really a betrayal, because you know you're not going to be, it's not a backstab. The only thing that could happen if you go back on your word when you say betray is that something better happens for both people. So if you say, assume I'm picking betray and then do whatever you want, then you can basically have it any way you want it. Sigma, we need to talk. Do we? How are you planning to vote? Yeah, I thought so. Uh -huh. Listen to me, Sigma. Because Luna is... Because Luna's not voting in this round. Her vote will default to Ally. Her opponent is Dio and me. That means we're pretty much guaranteed to have 9 BP by the end of this round. Mm -hmm. Luna's only got 1 BP left. But she's not wearing her bracelet anymore. You saw that, right? Mm -hmm. That means it won't do anything if her BP goes negative. Well, it's not like you can make her any debtor anyway. Hmm. You have to betray Clover. If you can get to 9 BP, then I'll take you with us. But that might not happen anyway. Of course. If you don't come with us, you're going to be stuck here for the rest of your life. But why are you willing to run out on us? I can't do that. 
Well, I guess you might not because you don't think Dio's gonna. You really think Dio's gonna stick around once he's got enough points to split? Good point. You gotta make a choice here. The number nine door is only gonna open once. If you pick Ally and Clover does too, then you only have eight points. I promise you Dio's gonna make a break for it as soon as he can. If you wanna have any chance of getting out, you need those three points. Now. God damn it, Kent. Why are you... You only chase your tail when you're up here on the same surface as my microphone. Why are you like this? I love you, but you're also terrible. Yeah. Right. Talk to Clover? I'd have about as much luck talking to a potato right now. The truth is, I want you to come with me. I just know that you're important somehow. Okay. No, I haven't talked to him. He's playing against Ten Miyoji. Ten Miyoji's only got one point left. Uh huh. Exactly. One minute remains until Ambidex game polling closes. It's almost time. Well, I think at this point we've kind of accepted that this is the episode where I'm just a huge asshole to everybody, so let's go Betray first. Remember what I said. You have to choose Betray. Hmm. I mean, again, it's... It, how I feel kind of doesn't matter, because we're going to have to do eventually everything we're going to have to do eventually anyway. I would have been better to just say nothing. Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Well. Nine, eight, seven. Yeah, we're right up against it. Well, here's the thing. We're we're gonna hit both of these events in like no time flat anyway, so. We may as well. Three, two, one. See ya, suckers. Or maybe not. Well, either way, the only way I could get out this time is Round this. Two of the Ambidex game has been completed. Doesn't matter what Clover does, because the only way I could get out would be picking Betray. Either, because again, an ally, ally. We both get eight. Betray, betray, we both get six. And I ally, she betrays, she leaves and not me. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Wait a minute, this is the first route you took? The first thing you did was stab Luna in the back? I don't even know you anymore. Thank you for your participation. One of the most... The, the only time, other time I think I've ever actually been chilled by somebody's response in a video game yet has been the one time that I had a friend like back in high school and we were talking about who he killed in Grand Theft Auto 4, if you remember Dwayne in Playboy X. And it's like, oh yeah, I killed Dwayne. It's like, what the hell's wrong with you? Jesus. Like, again, it wasn't, it wasn't like I stopped being friends with him, but it was like, that really does call that, that it's like, in, in, on some level, that actually does slightly call the way I think of you. Goodness. God. I mean, it, this is almost that bad. Not quite that bad, because again, you haven't exactly been around the character that long, but... It, reflect on what you've done. Ambidex Gates, now opening. Well, yeah, it was also set up so that if you betrayed Dwayne, you get the worst thing anyway, because Playboy X doesn't want to see your face because you, the horrible thing you just did, even though he was the one who told you to do it. Wait! Dio! Huh? Yep, there he goes. He's literally posting up ready to jump. Well... 
Well, let's find out what... Wait, am I just gonna... What are you doing, Dio? No, he's going to try and open it. Damn right I am. But the results... <laughs> like, I need to wait for that. Oh, Dio's BP was at six. Uh -huh. His opponent was Luna, and she is... Well, she is as she is. Uh, that's one way to put it. Her vote would have defaulted to ally. All he had to do was pick Betray. And he'd have nine points, right? Excellent answer. I hope you remember to show your work. But Fi was Dio's partner. And her BP was the same as Dio's. That means she has nine now as well. Exactly. It was nine the moment we stepped out of the AB room. Why? Why didn't you stop Dio from choosing Betray? You got the wrong idea, old man. This wasn't just my decision. We both decided to vote this way. Is that true? Yeah. It didn't have a choice. You didn't? Because of you, Luna's BP is negative one. So, what, she's gonna die again? Zero can pump all the poison he wants into her. It's not gonna make a difference now. I mean, her bracelet was off. So even if she's not dead dead, or whatever happened to her, the bracelet's off, so the bracelet's not gonna do anything. Besides, her bracelet's already fallen off. Uh-huh. You... Then why did you try and stop Dio, Fi? I believe I heard you cry out, wait, as he headed toward the number nine door. Are you planning to wait for the rest of us? Did you just want to get your BP up to nine to reduce your own risk? Sorry, but no. The only reason I stopped Dio is because I needed to know what someone else voted. Someone else? But that would be... Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Hmm. Well, let's see if I'm going out of here. We knew that one. We knew that one. See ya! Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. I mean, the other thing is, well, here's another way to think about it. If there's three of us who are going to leave, maybe she just literally only wanted us so that we could guarantee that we could get out the door. Because right now, of the people that are here, uh, Luna's dead, Alice is dead, Quark is missing. So there's three people who are standing around who are going to try to stop us, who could want to do that. Uh, and there's three of us who are about to go through the door. So if it was literally a numbers game, and they're like, oh, well, if he's going to try... It's like, well, if there are four of us, and he stops us, and there's four of them, and we could, like, tackle the shit out of Dio. I don't know. No. Yeah, sorry. You betrayed me, Sigma. Why? <laughs> to keep your promise, you jerk. You liar. You're a coward. Yep. You don't care about anybody but yourself. All you wanted was to get out of here. You're horrible. I hate you. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. So? means is that you picked Betray because you didn't want to get left behind. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Is that your excuse? It's a decent excuse, even if I don't buy it personally. Liar! Liar! You're just like Dio! Ouch. You're a coward! Just fine. I was stupid to trust you. Clang. Again. As long as nobody pulled the lever, we could just all get Sorry. jumped. I went ahead and opened it. Gonna have plenty of time to watch soaps on the outside. So I didn't feel like I needed to stick around to see how this little drama played out. Dio! Dio! All right, lady and gentlemen, shall we? 
Why so serious? This really isn't the time for hesitation. Or we gang up on him and chuck him out the door. You both crossed the line you weren't supposed to cross. You betrayed your friends. Am I right? I'm right. But you didn't have a choice, did you? You had to survive. Isn't that the way an animal thinks, though? Don't get me wrong. I see the logic, but it's kind of animal logic. Still, you made your bed. Now you gotta lie in it. If you're gonna be an animal, be an animal. Own it. The losers, the weak, throw them away. Jeez, dude. All right, we get it. You read on Rand. That's how nature works, my friends. That's life at its most pure. You get me? Now come on, hurry up and punch him in the face. Punch him in the face and ditch him here. The number nine door has been opened. Tackle him. It will remain open for nine seconds. Well, stay if you want. No skin off my back. Anyway, I'm out. You have a freaking robot, man. Tackle his ass. Peace. Wait. God damn it, Dio. Thank you. Dio fake left. And through. Three. Two. One. You fuckers. Zero. The number nine door is closing. I don't care that he's wearing the sarong. I don't think he's pacifist Buddhist. Just jump him. And besides, he doesn't even remember. You're a robot man. Just jump the fool. Alright, here we go. Let's go, Sigma! Shut up! Just do it! Alley oop! Yoink! Oh my god, we're on the other side of the door. And they're actually showing us what it looks like. Well, I mean, I guess we are here. Of course, it'll turn out that the world outside is uninhabitable. The number nine door has closed. Yeah, maybe like maybe the whole person like again. I'm sure the real reason for this is a bunch of quantum nonsense about like figuring out how to cure everything early. But maybe the result of the game in any of the bogus end endings is to punish whoever goes out the door into a blasted world unfit for life, in which we're all going to get infected if we're not already and then die immediately, or something. This ends the Nonary game. Let's find out. Thank you for your participation. Sigma! Phi! Dio! Open up! Open this goddamn door! Ah. Oh. This door isn't soundproof? So where are we? not going outside at all in the first place and we're just going to another wing of the building because we're not at the pressurization exit all righty then here we are is that a hallway only one way to find out mm-hmm eh? This must be the prep room. Oh, maybe it's, oh, it's probably another exit. I think I searched this place with Dio and Luna. Okay, wait. Is it a sec- is it a s different prep room? No, because if we went up in the elevator... Well, which way was the other elevator going? 
<laughs> Hold up. You know about the one on floor B2? Yeah. Huh. So you know that the pressure in here is a lot higher than the pressure outside? Okay, so this is a, a, a different exit bay. Oh, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Didn't I just say what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. The air inside this facility is kept at a higher pressure than the air outside. Apparently, they're doing it to keep the virus from getting in. If you're leaving, you have to lower the pressure until it matches what's outside. This room is where you prepare for all of that. See those suits over on the wall? They keep you from getting infected once you're outside. You have to put one on before you can go into the pressure exchange chamber downstairs. Luna told me. Mm -hmm. Apparently, it was all in a manual she found in a room we searched. Yeah. Not mysterious. We know about Radical 6. We talked about it. Even if in this timeline I skipped through it. Well, I wouldn't say it's mysterious. I think it's that Radical 6 thing Alice was talking about. Yeah, that. Don't quote me on that, though. Well, we've come this far. We can't turn back now. Let's get those suits on and head outside. No argument here. Let's do it. Yeah, my headphones ran out. So. Yeah. With a quiet hum, the process began. Succeed so easily. What? Ah, uh, you're thinking too small. Hmm. Are you one of the damn terrorists? You are, aren't you? You sick son of a bitch. I guess I can tell you who I really am. Do please. What? You see, the thing is, I'm a hero. Huh? I was sent here from far away to save mankind. What? Too surprised to speak? Yes. Okay, headphones, I know that you're out of battery and you're upset, but you can't keep turning off every five fucking seconds. We're all excited to be getting out of here, but... Oh, never mind. You're clearly too small-minded to understand. This is not the time for this. I'm powering on. Oh no, it's not getting any power at all, that's why. Like it's not even charging. That's bizarre. No reason for that. I got the cat on my lap. I've got headphones that stopped working. Ah, oh, goodness. Tech issues, tech issues, tech issues. Hey, geez, it's not even supplying any juice at this point. Let me try another cable. Thankfully, I have muffle cables. There we go. Now it's at least getting some juice so I can hear. And away we go. Yeah, we're not on Earth, I don't think. Looks like a desert. Uh, maybe we're still on Earth in a desert in the blood moon or something. I don't know. I can't tell you what day it is, though. Oh. Oh, the lunar eclipse. Look, the moon's red. See? Right. This must be a total lunar eclipse. Yes, but which one? You know there was one that was supposed to be on the 31st. But we don't know that this is the same one. 
During a total lunar eclipse, the moon is entirely covered by the Earth's shadow. Uh -huh. That doesn't mean the moon just disappears or turns black, though. It actually reflects light that's passed through the Earth's atmosphere, but this makes it appear to be red. Essentially what's happening is that the moon is reflecting the sunset. Do you remember when the next total lunar eclipse was going to happen? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Well, there you go. Maybe. Looks like it. We should get to the nearest town. There has to be one around somewhere. Even deserts have some towns. Whether they're in the Mojave, Sahara, or Gobi. It's not what I'm worried about, though. Forget it. Impossible. I'm worried about whether or not there are any survivors. If Alice was right about the virus. Well, geez. I wouldn't say impossible. Or I can't. Hope it's not the case, of course, but there's the possibility. Whatever. We should get moving. And uh, where the hell did Dio go? There are still four people stuck in there, including Quark. We need to find help and come back for them. Uh-oh. Where... Where are we? Uh-oh. Somebody just had hers kick in. She knows. Son of a bitch. Hey, where's Dio? Shit. We need to split up and find him. Because he needs to tell me something. Why are you asking me this? Don't tell me you forgot. Wait, maybe not. Forgot. God damn it. Damn it. Look, forget about that. Just find Dio. I'm going over to that hill. So you take the other direction. All right. Well, this definitely is dramatic enough to probably be another one of the ends. Wow. That's a considerably interesting facility design. What the hell are you doing? That's my Dio. Well, she found him. Is that a transmitter? Is that a transmitter? Is he a fucking alien? Oh, so he is one of the terrorists. Okay. I think at least I can live with that. Oh, so that is his knife. But wait. So he is a he is a murderous son of a bitch. Okay, well let's see. Let's replay the other death scenario then. So one of them is Alice. So I think one of them is Alice might have killed herself, but this other one is it might be him. I don't know why he'd switch methods though. I don't know. I don't even I don't have a perfect picture yet, but well, this is very important information. Because, as you can see, 
blank know your blank medons. Well, funny you should mention that. Because there we... In, in many of those, the weapon that killed... Alice was a knife. It has Myrmidon stamped on the flat of the blade. Oh, right. No, this is the blade that was... This might have been the blade that... Oh, no, this is the blade that killed the old lady. And I think it was also found out. So Alice still probably killed herself. But she probably had did it with the knife. That, so this is Dio's knife. Maybe he just... Oh, that would also explain why he took the knife, because it's his knife. Anyway. Well, let's read that after we finish this. Never mind that. I need to ask you something. What's the password for the number zero? The number zero? The hell with you, man? The hell is with the hell what the hell is with you? I bet he sliced her air cord or whatever. There they were. Whoa! I would bet that that's Dio on the ground just by height. Yep. Thanks. That was a close one. You heard, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, it's right over there. See that briefcase-looking thing? He was trying to use that to get in touch with somebody. Free the souls. Sounds like a cult organization that might release a deadly virus. And there's something on the screen. Probably had it hidden somewhere. Yeah, probably. My guess is he came here, hit the transmitter, and then snuck into the building. Hmm. A number is not part of a bunch of numbers that look like nothing. What are they? Hello? Print screen. No, it's too long for that. It's 25 digits. 25 digits. Don't know. I assume it's some kind of code, but I don't see a key to decode it with. You freak. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you guys just had it so fucking backwards I couldn't help myself. <laughs> you can't find the key to decode it? Well, no shit. The key's right in front of your face. What? Oh. That's the key. The message is somewhere else. You need those 25 numbers to decode it. Hmm. Wait a minute. Uh, wait. No. See, I thought if the digits were good enough, that's 25 digits, it might be some way of reading it across and just getting... Like, is this the key to to, to de-anagram Memento Mori, blah 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 blah. Which it might be. But I don't think that's quite right. I'm not going to rule it out, but we'll find out. What, you don't know? No. At least one of you is appropriately ignorant. Appropriately, you say. Fine, whatever. Might as well tell you. I don't really have any reason to hide my identity now that my mission's a success. Besides, she'll probably tell you if I don't. Might as well hear it straight. 
straight from the horse's mouth. Okay. Big reveal. Just chilling. I belong to an organization called the Remedons. No, I haven't. Well, sort of. Yes, free of the soul. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then again, from their point of view, I suppose we might be. Free yourself from birth. Uh -huh. Well, that's creepy. Free the Soul is built around the teachings of a man named Brother, who founded the Order many years ago. Mm -hmm. So, kook. Brother was born into a poor family. Mm -hmm. Didn't know his father, lost his mother at a young age. The only family he had was a younger brother, a boy named Left. They say Brother had a special power and that he was able to see the thought, touch the thoughts of other people and see into them. So he was an Esper. Okay. When Brother was 16, Left was found dead. Body was covered in bruises, ruled a suicide, but he private the cops. Burned with rage, divine revelation. Right. Kill everybody in the world. And started to free the soul at the age of 26. Wrote his research on human cloning. He inducted, I mean invited to assist him, a team of scientists from research. And a year later, the first ten new humans were born. Okay. That's a little dramatic, more dramatic than I thought it was going to be, but alright. Child of clones. Our DNA comes from left. Brother's younger brother. So they all look the same. Okay, so he's Boba Fett. All right. Yeah, everyone looks the same. Tall, blonde, blue-eyed. I've heard of that before. A little random deviation. Okay. Okay. He got infiltrated to screw everything up, essentially. In all my life, I've only once been punished for breaking our laws regarding women. was taken on an almost reverent tone and made an odd sign over his chest. I don't care about your goddamn mission. You did this to us. Now we're going to... to... Yeah. Shut up! Eh, you let still him. haven't answered my question. I'm going to ask you one more time. What is the password for the number zero bomb? The number zero bomb. Well, we know where the three is. God damn it! Didn't I tell you to shut up? Now, tell me, what's the password? Wait! Okay, okay. Fine. It's not gonna do you any good, though. Not in this timeline, it won't. I completed my mission. Password at this point. Not your 
problem. Just give it to me. Otherwise. Mm. Fine. No skin off my back. The password for the zero bomb is LXA QNS GDQ. LXA QNS GDQ. Something tells me we haven't encountered this timeline yet. You heard that, right, Sigma? The password. Mm hmm. I'm going to try my best to remember it, but I won't know if I manage to until after I make the jump. LXA QNS GDQ? Nice. Like LaGuardia, QNS, like fake LaGuardia, Qantas, game's done quick. There's a chance I won't remember anything, so you need to memorize it, just in case. Got it? Got it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. LXA, QNX, QNS, GDQ. Mm-hmm. Okay. We're done with you. Mm-hmm. Let's go. I'm not sure, but I think he does. Get up. Yeah. Well, not really a city, I guess. More like a shelter. Okay. Some people who survived the disaster live there. Just shut up and follow me. What disaster do you think, idiot? You can see for yourself. Hmm. Well, civilization is mostly done for, so yeah, there's probably a lot less light pollution. Credit roll? Or are we gonna go to the place? Nope! Credit roll. Neato. Alright, so it seems like every real ending we reach tells us something we need to know to get past one of the blockages somewhere else in the, in the line. <laughs> yeah, I could see how if this is the first thing you saw, you'd just be completely just dumbstruck. I guess I've had been lucky enough to have a chance to soak in some more details here. So there are places I have to fit all of this information I just got in. But, uh, yeah, geez. So, uh, Phi can jump her consciousness through timelines. Which I'm starting to be able to do. So, maybe we're both quantum robots. Is my thought. Okay, so. Again, the theory keeps changing a little bit every time. I still don't know when we are. But... Oh, no, well, this is the, if they're the fourth generation of whatever the hell they are. Well, how long has cloning existed in this world? Okay, so I, again, there's a time, the when of it is, I'm not, I'm not sure, but Clover and Alice are secret agents who are trying to stop Dio. Dio is a bad guy, so that's why he's here. Uh, we might be quasi-time-traveling quantum robots, so that would also explain why we, A, started together, and B, wouldn't need to have been people from the pods. That means that Clover and Alice would be from the pods? But then, how would that explain my memories? Maybe it's an Esper ability? So it's like, let's see, is it robots? Or is it, is it 
magic magic or robot magic? Which is the explanation for what we can do? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Makoto Goto. Da, 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 da. Dio end. All right. Sweet. Okay. So, where to now? We could go down this branch and probably just get a regular dead end, dead end. Or we could see if we have enough. So it's kind of, I'm kind of at a crossroads. So it seems pretty clear that every ending we get will give us an opportunity of some sort to get past a blockage. So Clover was like, oh, there's a drug you can inject in yourself so that you don't die from uh, tubercurine. It seems pretty important for the reality in which we were about to kick the bucket. Uh, this one gave us that crazy password for some giant bomb that's probably somewhere over here, I guess. So we don't need that yet, but Q, uh, L, X, A, Q, N, X, Q, N, -X. I know it, I'm saying it wrong. L, X, A, Q, N, S, G, D, Q. Again, I'm sure that, and they're not going to actually make me remember that, remember that, but I remember it. I'm sure Sigma will remember it for me, but somewhere around there is a, is timelines involving that big ass bomb going off. I think I was having the bomb premonitions over here. I think this is where the bomb showed up because I don't think we ever encountered the bomb and the dead lady at the same time. So, and again, I still don't really know who she is. Again, but I'm again, it's really just trying to piece things together as we go. So. Do we want to just keep trying to rack up endings? Or do we want to start moving past blockages? Because again, I don't know what's past here. I don't know what this is. I mean, at some point I'm sure we'll need to find the password to this and go through all of that, but... Let's see. So this is the one where we need to figure out who we're giving the medication to. This is the one where we can't find Alice. So there's nothing, like stopping stopping us here this is the one where we're about to die and this is the one where we're in that uh, the director's office and we need a password a 25 carat well yeah so we have that long string of numbers that i took a screenshot of and we have the nine letter password that i actually mem bothered to memorize we need those none that 25 digit string of numbers to do whatever with later and it wasn't just the digits of the numbers one through 25 or one through whatever yeah i think about that worry if the 9f lion ate the sun is too many letters long for what i was thinking anyway or maybe it's a letter shift or a caesar shift or vigna or whatever hmm. all right so hmm do we want to start taking out more or yeah you know what let's start hitting some nubs so let's let's go for it yes what sigma's bp is negative one. Oh no give me that goddamn drug you son of a bitch as you run out the door to be content oh maybe not or Yes. To be continued. Oh, I guess that doesn't count. <laughs> I guess it'll tell us when we're allowed to keep going. Okay, well, let's try this end then. So in this one, we are going to... Let me see. All right, well, let's head down this way and get whatever that's it, whatever that is. Do a little more clean up here. Shut them doors. 30 seconds remain until polling closes.
Okay, so let me think about what this was. But I promised Luna I would pick Ally. So this one I'm stabbing her in the back later. What if she was lost? I would have chosen Ally regardless. I mean, Sigma's going to be my opponent. And I... I trust him. I mean, so far in this timeline, that would be the right thing to do. Since this is the first time we went through and we did do the right thing with her the first time. And through the Golem Bay, that was me, Alice, and Luna. Oh, that's right, Alice is AWOL and dead, so it's just me versus her. And right now we both have five, because we trusted each other. So this won't really accomplish anything. And again, that's why I went Isla the first time around. So, Betray it is. Ten seconds. Sorry. Yeah, this is the running theme of this episode, I guess, is stabbing Luna in the back. Yeah. Alright, so, I feel terrible about the thing I've just done. Why am I a dick? Results from round two of the Abidex game will now be displayed. Let me just read that block real quick. No, 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 no. Thank you. Okay. Nothing out of the ordinary. Please direct your... Look at the screen. I feel like crap doing it. Clover's gonna run out the door. Okay. And... Right. So let's see. Quark has nine, but he's... I think he's out cold right now. Uh, Alice and me... Well, Alice is dead, so I got her, and that puts me at eight. With Dio and K, the worst people in the here so far. So, yeah, just yell at me for being a bad person. By all means. But nobody has nine who's conscious. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. I'm anticipating some version of what the hell is wrong with you. Which, hey, fair. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. Sigma. I know. Why? I know. Shut up. You promised. How could you? Why won't you say something? At least give me an excuse. Say, say you wanted to protect everybody, or you slipped and hit the wrong button. Anything. I don't care if it's a lie. Just, just say something. I, I can't trust you anymore. Can I? Hopefully this is the last time I have to do this. Right then, you did it so that you could get more points, right? Mm -hmm. I trusted you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, no shit. Life moves in one direction, and you only get to make your choices once. Yeah. You only get to make your choices once. You hear that? And it stays there. Hey! Where do you think you're going? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to look for Quark. Hey! Wait! That's right, I think Quark got nine in this life anyway. But he was still missing. Right, so we don't know where... Right, so all the times that he's went missing, we couldn't find him. The other times that we, he was around us when he went nut, when he went berserk, we sedated him.
Hmm. Miyoji, you're going to go look for Quark, right? Yeah. So? I want to help. No thanks. Really? Uh, much as I'd like to say that, I need all the help I can get. Think you can give me a hand? Of course. Let's go. So they went through the magenta. She goes off to sign. Hmm. He went off toward the yellow door while you and Luna were talking. Okay. Yes, he did check the results before he left. Uh huh. I imagine he would. Fortunately, Phi is much too clever for that. Right. In this one, they're together, and she stops him from making a break for the door. That was why I chose Ally. It was an easy decision. Mm -hmm. Oh, that also proves that he's a good person. He's relatively reliable, because, again, the time he left, he was thinking he would be able to help by getting out first. Although he could have just stayed. I mean, we had a way to keep... Quark in check indefinitely in that time. What? The timeline where he le where he walks out? No, in that timeline we had Quark under control. Because we knew he was sick. He wasn't just missing. Perhaps but I made a promise to Fire. Of course not. I'm not an idiot. I didn't really have a choice, though. The only option was to trust him. Yeah. Don't you think that's important? Trusting someone, I mean. Shut up. Alright. We should go and look for Quark, too. Indeed. Best we split up, wouldn't you say? No. I would not say that. Wait, why am I going in the same direction as Luna? She doesn't want anything to do with me. Search, search, search. Search, search, search. Lounge, lounge, lounge. Pantry, pantry, pantry. Robots, robots, robots. Places we've been or heard about. No quark. Found him. Wouldn't be here if I hadn't. Oh, he's gonna probably just take quark and drag. Gonna take quark, drag him under the door, and let quark out and damn the rest of us. Like I'm gonna tell you that. You broke your promise to Luna. I don't like people who break promises. God damn it! Ha! Oh, you got some balls saying that. Acting like you give a shit about him. He's just sleeping. Seems somebody shot him up with some kind of anesthetic. Okay. So that explains what happened to him in those. <laughs> Hell if I know. And honestly, I don't really care anymore. Court's safe. Now, all I have to do is get him out of here, and this'll all be over. I can. Well, he can. Didn't you see the results? Quark's PP is... Mm -hmm. Exactly. So wait, you're gonna dump him on the other side of the door unsupervised? Dude, I get what you're doing, but think it through. Yeah, of course he's gonna need my help to do that. Three! Now, maybe some of you are thinking! Think I don't know that? Doesn't matter though. 
Oh, so he's gonna literally, he thinks he's gonna just immediately snap dead the second he crosses the threshold. Which, hey, eh, maybe. As long as Quark is safe, then I... <laughs> Damn! Yank. I'm sorry, the door's almost open, so it's time I was on my way. Believe me, I know, but I gotta stay with him as long as I can. Couldn't live with myself if I just tossed him out there unconscious, you know? I guess maybe he figures he'll have nine minutes, or until the drug knocks him out. Can't do that. There's a killer here. It's too dangerous. I can't take that risk with Quark's life. But the killer is in here, and he'll be out there. Ugh. Damn it, man. Again, this is so the very not thing I would do. The number nine door has closed. This ends the nonary game. Thank you for your participation. As the game is over, all doors other than the number nine door have been unlocked. Just to remind you, the first path I took was ally with Luna was go with Luna, ally with Luna, ally with Luna again, and then everyone ended up, well, everyone ends up killing one another in some gruesome fashion and Quark is still missing. And probably unconscious somewhere in this one. But yeah, uh, K and Dio stabbed each other. Uh, Dio was probably responsible in some for killing Luna. Uh, or injecting Luna, maybe. Um, Alice probably killed herself from the disease. So it was just me, Phi, and an unknown Quark. And Quark is unknown. Uh, Tenmyoji, oh, that's right, uh, Tenmyoji and Clover had been handcuffed to a sink, and there, it was allowed that their bracelets you know, killed them because they couldn't get through the doors from round three when we went through into the puzzle room. Escape is not possible. Please enjoy your stay. Da-da-da-da-da-da. That was how it ended. Boring end. Yeah, see? Okay, so game over means you just... This, this way sucks. Don't bother. But a man has to know. And now we know. Now we've learned. Betraying Luna always ends poorly. Don't do it. Okay, so, this is all done. We don't have the path right here yet. We don't have the, well, this wanted a username and a password, I think. Let's jump in and just see. All right, so this is the makings of another room. Of a puzzle room. Bunch of letters on the walls. There's no one here. Some creepy crap. 
Yeah, maybe mm-hmm. Dio and Kay did that. Mm-hmm. A lion. Eating the sun. A sun? Any ID and pay, yeah. We probably can't use it unless we know what those are. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Uh-huh. Yeah, just as I thought. Hmm. Might as well forget about this thing for now. We can't get anywhere without a password. Let's see if we can find any other clues. This is the director's office after all. If we turn the place upside down, we're bound to find something. Shall we? Uh-huh. Walking around. Felt compelled to stay. Fine, fine, son. Mental Mori, remember death. Then. All right, so that's one death. We've seen that a couple of times. We've seen that a few times. Seen that a few times. Uh, not that one. Specifically. I mean, we've seen him. Something happened to him, but we haven't seen that. Uh, we haven't seen K and Phi knock out like that. That might be a different version. I th- again, okay, so some of Alice's deaths are her inflicting on herself, probably with the scalpel, and other ones was Dio with his own knife. Uh, that was 016, because that's Clover, and we saw that. Remember, I don't think we have enough, is what it is. Boom! To no effect. Okay, so this is 9 by 9, but... We don't have all we don't have nearly enough pieces. Unless it's something like DO 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 DO. Why not? I mean again. The odds are essentially zero here, but... Stop doing I again. Alright. So you... Nothing. I did not good enough. To be continued. Okay. So we don't have what we need there. But we have to know things, certain things, we have to remember certain things about deaths. Sure. Alright, so nothing, not enough there. Dead end. Dio ending. Not nothing there. And done, done. Stuck. Well, maybe we're not again. I don't know what the difference between teal question mark and black question mark is. Let's see what happens if we jump back to a teal. There isn't enough antiviral, but we also know that there's the IG thing. So maybe the IG is what we needed to keep moving from this. Because if we have somebody with the antibodies, we can duplicate. Alright. Only enough for one person. Alice or Quark. Alice or Quark. Aha! So, okay, so... Uh, I do. Okay, so that's what it means. So that's how we can read it now. So teal means that we do finally have enough to go forward. So we needed to know about the immunoglobulin to expand, to extend the antibodies across. And this one was, we know where Alice went, so we're going to be able to find her where she not got knocked out. Got it. Okay. It's another name for antibodies. Some people have antibodies that can fight off Radical 6. IG Replicator. Replicator makes it sound like it makes copies of stuff. All right. Sigma's powers are beginning to activate. Yeah, probably copies IG, whatever that is. Mm-hmm. Who knows? Ice cream by the gallon? Definitely. 
Ice Cream Cures Radical Six. Uh-huh. Uh, what? Bingo! Wow. Achievement unlocked. If I told you, you had a nice antibody. Hold on a moment. There is a strange device in the laboratory that says IG Replicator on it. Clover and I examined it thoroughly when we were in that room. Yeah, we never could figure out what it did, though. Exactly. My question is, how do you know about it, Sigma? Don't worry about that. Just trust me. When was that? Hard to explain. Don't worry about it. Probably when you were looking for Alice, right? Go with that, though. Say that. And the rest of us. <coughs> mm, let's go have a look then. The laboratory, right? Yeah, no time to waste. I mean, honestly, I probably should have figured it out sooner that open book means you can progress, closed book means you cannot. But then, geez, finding the password here is going to be some schlep, huh? Happy to. All right. Down the elevator. replicator thing. It's the black thing over there. So this can copy the Accelivir? What are we waiting for? Skip it. Just press the damn thing. Beep. Now, maybe it's just me, but I think I would keep doing this maybe, I don't know, seven more times? Have a look. The empty vial has something in it now. And the vial Sigma used remains as it was. It does not seem to have lost any of its contents. So, it worked? Would have been pretty bad if it hadn't. What happened? You dropped one of them? What in the hell? What if you'd broken it, you idiot? <laughs> uh, guys? Yeah? You see? It did break! No, the vial's fine. See? Then what the heck is going on down there? Good question. Take a look. Oh, number two. Hey, all right. Well, it's important to know where they are. Whoa. Really? That makes two, then. Oh, so we did find it in this timeline, too. Guess Kay was right after all. So there were more bombs. So it would seem. Was this here when you guys came through the first time? If it was, we missed it. No, 
it was not. Yeah, I didn't see anything, and I looked real hard. Then somebody must have said it while we were looking for Alice. Who the hell would do that? <laughs> Gee, I wonder. Who could possibly be planting a bunch of bombs? Certainly it wouldn't be somebody who would know the password to disarm them. No way in hell that could ever be what was happening. No, not any of us. I was back in the infirmary. Quark was still out, so I was keeping an eye on him. So we shouldn't consider you a suspect, is that right? Yeah, Quark's off the list too. But Tenmyoji, you have no proof that you spent the entire time in the infirmary, do you? What? You could have quietly made your way to the laboratory, planted the bomb. That's insane! Listen to yourself! There's no way in hell I'd have left Quark all by himself to go plant a goddamn bomb! Hey, what's this thing? Do not touch that. Do not touch my cords. Animal. It looks like a memory card. Ooh. Where was it? Um, right under the bomb. It was down on the floor under the table. Could it have been put here by the same person who set the bomb? There was nothing like it here when we examined this room. <laughs> Unless it was left here intentionally, yes, I imagine so. Hmm. What do you think's on it? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Know where it would go to in here, at least. Hmm. So what do we do? Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Ah, jeez. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. Uh, guys, I think maybe we should get back to the top floor. Yeah, here we've got what we came here for. Um, hmm. what should we do about the, uh, bomb? I recommend nothing. Not much we can do except leave it here. Alice said it'd be dangerous to touch them. True, but... Drop it. We can talk about the bombs later. I was about to say, you want us to drop the bomb? Right now, we need to take care of Alice and Quark. <laughs> right. This ought to do it. It might take a little while, but they should recover. Did we just use up both of them? God damn it. Are they really going to be all right? Yes. The analysis I did on the vials confirmed that the duplicate was real Excelivir. The original was genuine too, of course. Now that they've been treated... It's only a matter of time before the virus is eliminated. From them? I believe so, yes. Oh man, what a relief. I was really worried. <laughs> Five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. All right, everybody. We can be relieved later. Right now, we need to get to the AB rooms and fast. Damn. Don't even have time to catch our breath. Okay, for this one, it was me and Luna. And Alice, I think, was the solo. And we know that she's going to ally, and right now we should have five? Hmm. Well. Uh, he stayed back in the infirmary. Why? Well, when we were all heading out, I noticed he wasn't doing anything. So I asked him if he was coming with us. And this is what I got. I'm still worried about Quark and Alice. I think I'll stick around and make sure they're okay. I see. That means that Phi's only opponent will be Dio. Ugh. That's cool. Nothing to worry about. Phi, I think you should probably pick Betray. I plan to choose Ally. 
Oh, you don't. You know why? Because I've only got one BP. Exactly. If you chose Ally and I betrayed you, your BP would drop below zero and... Well, we know what happens then. Alright, so... We have definitely reached the point where I'm not trusting Tio for shit. I want to win, but I'm not that desperate. Oh, yes you are. You see what I'm saying, right? <laughs> Tenmyoji and Dio are a pair. Tenmyoji only had one BP left. Since Dio said he's going to pick an ally... Ooh. Okay. So basically... Ooh. All right, that's the boy. I think she should pick ally in that case because the odds of him exposing, I think I don't think he has enough points to get out. I mean, he would just do it, but if her picking betray would let him have a chance to kill Tenmyoji and basically pin it on her, Pick anything else. Mm. If she does, then Miyoji will. Um. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Mm. <laughs> Kay and I are going to be going one on one too, right? Since Quark's still sleeping. That is correct. <laughs> I've got six. As do I. Mm. If one of them can get the other to ally, and then betray that person, the betrayer will have nine points. Well then maybe just pick betray and make sure they both stop. Look, Kay, I know you don't really have any reason to trust me, but... I know. You would like us both to vote ally, yes? I yeah. I agree. If we were to both betray, then we would gain no points. We would lose nothing either, but that's hardly relevant. Well, it is, as long as everybody else still has to keep playing. If both of us cooperate, then we will both gain two points, which is much more beneficial. Uh. Right. Okay, good. You're really gonna do it, right? Yes. Promise? Promise. One minute remains until Ambidex game polling closes. I don't remember how many Alice and... I think, I think Alice is... Near death, but I'm against Shit, Luna. This is bad. We need to move now. Indeed, shall we? Mm -hmm. Okay, so DFI five or six. Luna and myself. Sounds good. And I'm going in alone. she has like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day 10 seconds remain until Ambidex game point closes oh no oh god it's like ripping off a bandage Okay, so hang on. Okay, so this is the one where I was against Alice and she backstabs me and calls me naive. And then this is the version where I betray her. But right now I'm where I am is in the one where I allied with her and I was at one. So, oh jeez. 
Well, again, I can pretty much tell. I can. I have a decent guess of which way I'm expected to go. Nine, eight, but we're going to do both. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well, we have a theme for this episode, so we might as well stick to it. I'm like ripping off a bandage. Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed. Right, they didn't kill her. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. Well, let's hear it. I know what I've done. Why? What happened to... It's not fair to betray someone who isn't voting. I thought... Even I didn't really understand why. Well, shut up. Shut up! <laughs> really? We already know what they are. It's just simple math. Results from round two. She knows what I've done. The next game will now be displayed. Why am I like this? <sighs> Please direct your attention to the results screen. I'm sure this is probably. I would guess this is the dead end. But it might not be. Stall out. What? Whoa, 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 what? I beg your fucking pardon. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Well then. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. Huh. Yeah. Oi! you'd get an easy couple points, huh? Not so easy when you have to look your victim in the eye, is it? Well, you were about to kill me, so... Coward. Well, you gave me the antivirus, didn't you? Tenmyoji told me. Thank you. I mean that from the bottom of my heart, honestly. But you should still be under the effects of the anesthetic. Yes, well, I still am. A bit. I have a throbbing headache, and I can barely stand. It's horrible. I'm more resistant to anesthetics than most people. Oh. A result of my training. I have a feeling Zero Senior knew that. They gave me way more than the standard dose of that gas when they kidnapped me. In any event, a few minutes ago I woke up in the infirmary. Tenmyoji explained what was going on, and I got here as fast as I could. Yes. Right in the nick of time, too. But again, I was at the, I'm the one on the brink of death. You essentially would have signed my death warrant anyway. I was going to pick Betray no matter what, so maybe you should shut the fuck up. And also, you're the reason I'm in this position to begin with. About ten seconds before the deadline, as I recall. You did that just so you could betray us? Right. What? Don't I get to do that? I mean, it turned out to be the right thing to do, didn't it? Uh, no. You two chose Betray. If I'd stayed back there, I'd have lost two points. And also... So you're saying it was self-defense? Yes. Uh-huh. So what if I was? 
Why are you being such a dick? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't be stupid. I knew you'd choose betray. There was... That is the truth. Oh. Why am I the only one getting the third degree here? Look at those results. Two other people just tried to kill someone. Well, no. That's different because they were both pitted against each other. They had to stay that way no matter what. Neither of them could risk it. Especially with Dio in there. Well, D okay, so, well, Dio tried to kill somebody. And K-Quark Clover is nothing. Yes. If Dio had chosen Ally, Phi would have killed Tenryoji. And if she'd chosen Ally, Dio would have killed her. So they did the right thing because it's one it's a life death versus life death. You had no such compunction. No, 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 no. I don't buy this. I don't want to be rude, but it looks like Clover and Kay tried to trick one another. Not that it seems to have worked. If either one had chosen ally, the other one would have 9 BP right now. That also is explainable because they probably wanted to make sure nobody was running out the door. No, 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 no. You're off. No, you're not getting off the hook like that. Sigma, but I need to think on something for a bit. Okay. I would appreciate being left alone. I'll be leaving too. Things are getting a little too intense here for my delicate constitution. That's what you say. Sorry. Well, in that case... Yeah, sorry. See? There's your answer. In the end, everyone's just thinking about themselves. So I would appreciate it if you could not treat me like I'm the only villain here. Again, totally different scenario. The other ones had uh, decent explanations. You had nothing. You were in zero risk. Come on, Clover. Let's go. Hold on! I'm coming! Are you feeling okay? I was really worried, you know? Well, at least one person's happy. Everyone's gone. Yep. No. I know, but I still believe in you, Sigma. <laughs> I think your hand must have just slipped or something. Let's go with that. Right? <laughs> Quonk. The Ambidex gates have closed. Round three of the Ambidex game will be the star round. Okay. Star keys are required to open the gates. There is no set limit on usage of the star keys. The Ambidex gates can be opened as many times as the players wish to open them. Okay, so me, Phi, and Tenmyoji are all still at risk of death. Yes, as long as we have the star keys, that means we can keep playing the AB game over and over too. Um, Sigma, could you show me your bracelet? Do you remember what Zero Jr. said? Uh-huh. As soon as the gates close, their colors get all shuffled up automatically. Yeah. The parents, some of us, I can stop around that too. <laughs> Let's see. Cyan pair. I'm a magenta pair. Dang it, we will be going through different doors. 
We could be anything, I suppose. We won't know until we have a look. Beep. 80 minutes. Everyone else has gone off on their own. Wow. I mean, I guess if I had done the right thing, I'd be fucking dead. So, uh, eat shit, Alice. Maybe it would help if we all had a common goal. Something to unite our hearts and minds. Like defusing a bomb? Well, what if we have an enemy? You mean the person who got us in here? Yes, a common foe. Like the person who set the bombs, for instance. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, do you have any clues? Well, yes and no. Mm -hmm. What's this? Aha! Uh -huh. Hang on a sec. Clock timed out. Not that anyone's been using the clock, but I could. I left it open in a window where I could see it this time, so I saw it catch. Oh, hello. There we go. Yes, I was just gonna kick it. Really? Hmm. Oh, I guess we can't really use it then. Hmm. Oh, wait a second. Oh? You know what? I think I might have seen something. Where? Yes, I remember. Genuinely, where? The infirmary. I saw it when I was searching the infirmary with Dio and Quark. There was a memory card just like that one. Who has it? Yes. We can see what's on it. The computer there should be able to read it. Oh, right. The computer where we had the instructions about the bleach. I guess... Well, again, I don't know what the formatting is like in this universe. Okay. So he's still out. What are you doing here? Hmm. So don't say anything now. He just put the thing in. Okay. Then stick it in already! <sighs> Are, okay, so this is where if I had a poll or I bonded someone, I would like, is the next thing out of Sigma's mouth going to be a dirty joke? Go ahead. Huh. Random letters. Okay, so this is what we need to use that long-ass number with, I would assume. Since it's a, re a repeating string a whole bunch of times. Hmm. Six rows, 22 letters each. It looks like the odd rows use one set of letters, and the even rows use another set. Mm -hmm. In other words, the first two rows just repeat. Yeah. Hmm. That doesn't look random to me. I think there might be a pattern. I just don't know what it is. Was there anything else on there? No, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. Does any of this look familiar to you, Clover? Um, what do you mean? Have you seen something like this before? Check the morphogenetic field, Clover. Maybe during your training? Uh, this is... So you do recognize it. It's a cipher of some sort. All right, knock it off, you two. How about you share it with the rest of the class? I believe this is an encoded message from a terrorist organization. Dun dun dun. What? They call themselves the Myrmidons. Oh. Funny you should mention that. Let's have a quick break. Twice cooked pork by uh, so these are the things that Phi talked about eating. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. 
Mm -hmm. uh, uh, hang on. Trauma trace trumpet. An emerging religious organization with rapidly growing membership. Some figures claim their congregation numbers over a million in countries across the world. So it used to be free the soul of why. Who is why? Okay, so we have a whole bunch of other additional bizarre characters here who may or may not be people we know. But free the soul, founded by brother. Free the soul of why and revenge for killing his brother left. Uh huh. Maradons. Let's see. The general public knows anything about them. Their actions have put them on watch lists around the globe. They say they all have the same face. They may be clones. No one knows why, but it's a very credible source. It's found. In, let's see. The brother is the founder. Rage and despair filled them. After them. Let's see. Some weird crap. More weird crap about nines showing up. Okay, so the letter Y. Well, why could be like a thing about branching paths or converging paths, depending on which way you want to read it, either reading the letter down or the letter up. But let's see. As a child, a dear boy who was very fond of, let's see, raged in a despair-filled brother friend for nine days and nine nights. He was consumed by his own misery. On the morning of the tenth day, he had a revelation that it was time to kill all of humanity. Information that isn't revealed in the game. The bracelet put on the left wrist of the nine participants in the Amex game has an important feature that's never mentioned. As soon as it's put on, a needle on the underside activates and inserts itself into the wearer. This doesn't necessarily mean that it's injecting something, only that it activates and pierces the skin. Maybe there's something on the needle, maybe there is, if it isn't. All that's certain is that when somebody puts on the bracelet, they get poked. That's weird. So something... So they get stuck with something. Or I guess it also... I guess it technically means... Oh, okay. So if there are poke marks... Hmm. Again, this is one of those things that would show up in like, like the, the crux of a mystery novel or something. So it, basically all it means is that... If somebody has poke marks, it doesn't mean they've been injected. And it means that everyone who's worn a bracelet should have a poke mark somewhere. Interesting. For some reason, I feel like I'd heard that before. What are the Myrmidons? Myrmidon, Myrmidon. Put simply, they're a bunch of thugs who are trying to destroy or dismantle most of human civilization. So this thing we're looking at, you think it's theirs? Well, they have a number of different codes. But I do think this is one of them. Then the bomb? It was said by one of the Myrmidons, wasn't it? Yes. Well, I can't say for sure, of course, but it seems likely. Hmm. I don't know. What do you need? How am I supposed to decode it? I don't have the key. I have the key. Without a key, it would take literally hundreds of years to decode. What about you, Clover? <laughs> Interesting. I have the key, and I have the picture, but I don't know for certain what the method of using the key on the code is. 78153 610 Four two four one nine nine zero five five one. Interesting. But there are six lines, so let me see. Seeking, but I don't. Again, it's a matter of I don't know what to do with a zero. I don't. I don't know. It could be any. It really could be anything. It could be forward, backward, left, right, up, down. Well, if Alice doesn't know how, I sure don't. I see. <clears throat> Hmm. Out with it. That's... Say it. Sorry, but I can't. Damn it. Because you might be one of them. You might be the person who set the bomb. Really? And where's your proof? For all I know, you're my enemy. 
I can't tell you anything. I just saved your life. I'm sorry. God damn it. are you going to keep following me until you talk to me then why don't you just ask clover you already know she works with me well we have some emotional damage to heal here between you and me then why don't you why mm -hmm. what are you talking about You don't hate me? I... I tried to kill you. We'll, we'll... We'll... Let's try to just mend defenses here. We'll go back to that later. Yes. I was so scared. Who wouldn't be? Kidnapped and locked up, forced to play some sort of bizarre game. And then we found that bomb. I know I probably sounded calm, but as soon as we found that thing... All I wanted to do was run away from it as fast as I could. Things just went downhill from there. I remember hearing that Quark had collapsed and running to the infirmary with everyone else. When I got there, I realized I couldn't understand what anyone was saying. And everything looked... I don't know how to describe it. It was like watching a video on Fast Forward, only it was real. Then I started to feel like... It's hard to explain. I guess you could say I didn't feel like I was myself, and it only got worse. Yes, I think so. Mm -hmm. I don't remember much after that, but when I woke up in the infirmary, suddenly all that fear was back. So I... All I could think about was getting out of this place as fast as I could. It never even crossed my mind that it could kill you. God help me, it, even if it had, I don't think I would have cared. This is not how. This is not inspiring confidence from me. But let's keep going. You need to work this out. See, I'm horrible. You hate me, don't you? Well, I'm mad. I don't hate you, but I'm mad. Just do it. Kill me. Get it over with. You're lying. I could kill you. I would have killed you. I mean. No one's died. God damn, Sigma. This? Damn, Sigma, you a player. You know, you kind of remind me of my father. Yes. Will you promise not to tell Clover that I cried? Sure. If you keep your mouth shut. I'll tell you what you want to know about myself and about the Mirrodons. Deal? <sighs> Deal. Really? Good. All right, then. All right. My father is Egyptian, but my mother is French. All right. I think at this point we have accepted that Alice is not all ice and that the person we found in the... So essentially, they just kind of rode around that little goof and made her a real person. All right, then. My father is Egyptian and my mother is French. They met while my mother was in Egypt on vacation and married shortly thereafter. When I was three, we all moved to the United States. My father was a scientist and his field was clone. Oh, okay, so it was the Myrmidons. Got it. Murdered American lab while we moved. They used around, so no problem adapting. On my ninth birthday, we've been there for six years. Mom showed up to school. Right. My father had always been a very punctual man, but he was nowhere to be seen. Right, they'd been attacked, and he had been kidnapped. 
All right, so she is, she does have a grudge against the Myrmidons. Wait a damn minute. If she is a grudge against the Myrmidons, if she'd ever even seen one, then she would know that Dio has the same face as the rest of them. Right? Hmm. For the rest of my childhood, my mother raised me by herself. So he's been kidnapped, but I guess they didn't kill him, or his sta status was unknown, or... Excellent student is especially well in math. Full ride scholarship straight out of high school. Damn, I didn't even get that. I was pretty good at math, too. Shit. Mm, graduation, took a job at the Department of Defense. Immediately signed a special office, SYS. Mm-hmm. He learned that the terrorist organization was the one who taken him, right? They expected a human cloning, right? Okay, we know about that now. Now at last, right, so that's why he was taken. The commander of the Myrmidons is a man named Left, but we knew about what that really means. We know his name and his gender, but not his appearance or his age. Okay, so they don't know what he looks like. Fair enough. Alright, the Free of the Soul cult. Right. But trying to pin any kind of misdeeds on the cult later never stuck. He'd gotten on in years. Rumors say that he can't even get out of bed, but his mind is sharp. Alright. So, she gets stuck. Can't find out anything else. She got a tip that some of them were hiding in a building in the Nevada desert. So, somebody tipped her off that there were Myrmidons in the desert. But we didn't encounter anybody who looked like Dio at the time. Because who was there? It was Hongo who was with the pharmaceutical company. It was... Two was Light. Who partnered with her in the later on. Uh, three was Santa, who was probably one of the good terrorists, who essentially fixed everything. Uh, because Santa and June are brother and... Wait, are Santa and June brother and sister? I don't think so. Again, it's kind of like, they were labeled, again, like, June and Santa are labeled terrorists, but I don't think they're going to be free of the soul. I think they're trying to help us with this Nonary game. I think it's a, I think it's a good Nonary game again. Uh, so four was Clover, you know her story. Uh, five was Junpei, so but he doesn't have a brother or sister, so he's went missing. So he might be K. Uh, six was June, explained it. Seven was Seven, the detective. Eight was Lotus, who hasn't showed up on anything else. And nine died, and everybody else who was responsible for the last game was given there just for desserts. So it's nothing to do with that. So why would the Myrmidons be involved in the desert? Hmm. Hand it out immediately. Okay. Clover. And there are four other people in the car. And the four other people would have been... And one in the trunk. Right, it would have been me, Seven, Lotus, Light. Yeah, it would have been me, Seven, Lotus, and Light, with Clover at the wheel, and Ace in the trunk. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Unable to track them. Still know where they've gone. I don't think that, that I don't think the June and Santa are related to the Myrmidons. I don't think what they did had anything to do with anything. Cause I think when we went back and fixed everything that unless we're unless this is like a Steins Gate Zero thing and we're in a bad timeline where a bunch of lame shit happened. But no, but we if that's if that all happened, then that means that this is forward from the good ending where everything worked out okay and nobody was hurt or killed or anything 
by the... Wait, 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 hold on. Right, I think everyone managed to get out, or... Hmm, maybe not. Maybe one of the other kids from the first one is doing this and everything. I don't know. Right. So don't involve all the police. Right. They were not connected to the murder bombs. Got it. Okay, so Free the Soul is related to the events. Got it. Uh-huh. They weren't writing in it per se. Yes. H was in... Hmm. Is it going to be that Hongo is brother or something ridiculous like that? Uh-huh. Yes. We also learned that his pharmaceutical company was effectively control. Okay, so he's just a pawn. And he, well, not a pawn, but pretty powerful, but... Okay. More specifically, I suppose, H was a member of them. Okay. So we're going above if H. Got it. So he kidnapped them to test the morphogenetic field. Quick rundown. Right. Esper's consciousness. Thought transferring in times of crisis. Telepathy. Uh-huh. Right. Free of the Soul was investigating it. Brother knew about it and was trying to use it. A lot of him discovering a way to control that was terrifying. It sure was. Of course, we just thought he was doing it to make money. Okay, large-scale bioterrorist attack. Right, Clover was recruited, and so was Clover's brother. But I guess it doesn't really matter right now. Test in the H's experiment, right. Uh-huh, tried to get... Okay, so she infiltrated the clone... What we thought was the cloning lab. And she was the CO. Okay, she was trying to get to find her father, wouldn't let it pass. But it ended up being a trap. They captured Clover. And all the conspirators who pretended to be researchers and the like had already fled. But she had been tied to a chair, but on the floor next to her was another body. She didn't tell me this. <laughs> They'd beaten my father to death. Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna forgive you for all that, Alice, because that would fuck you up. Alright, as soon as right, I'm running the mask to come to visit her. Okay, she would have to leave him alone. She'd leave him alone and tell her masters to sorry, so no more poking. And they did that to her as a warning. Good God. They are some bad they are some bad dudes. Uh-huh. Well, uh It's like, oh yeah, we killed we killed you, your dad, so now you're gonna leave us alone, right? Th no. Take Clover and leave. But Clover's okay. Something needed to be seen. On his arm were two rows of numbers comprised of eights and nines. On his chest was another message, but letters and not numbers. Short sentence. I love you, Alice. God damn, son. Well, shit. Latitude and longitude. Chemical factory disguised as an abandoned building. Okay, so they found the Myrmidon headquarters. Okay. 
they were going to go in. Mm-hmm. And they got taken on the 22nd. Yes. Well, there it is. Everything that's happened with the Myrmidons and me. Well, shit. Boy, howdy. That is, uh, a story. Right, I know. Santa and June are so right. Santa and June aren't siblings. That's right. And so are Clo That's right, because everybody who was in the first one are are related for brother sister pairs or brother or sibling pairs, because that's how they were goosing their abilities. Yes, yes. I left a few of the details out, of course, but you get the idea. We should go back. Okay. Which is? Hmm. Yes. Hmm. What do you propose we do? Clues? Hmm. Well, if I could decrypt that code, it might tell us something, but... Funny you should mention that, because I happen to have this 25-digit number in front of me. I told you, we need a key. Without that, it's pointless. A key is a key. It allows you to sort of unlock a code. Uh-huh. Myrmidons usually use this huge string of numbers as a key. Funny you should mention that. <laughs> Boosh! Ha-ha! <laughs> Didn't even need to screenshot it. But I do remember the nine letters. Too. That was L-X-A-Q-N-S-G-D-Q. What the hell? Swish. Where did... Wait. Can you say that again? That's 198,449,351 to the third power. God damn. That number you just told me. Prime factor decomposition on that number gets you 198,449,351 to the third power. I, b I believe you, but... Yes, yeah, I know what that is. Yes. Exactly. You probably learned that in junior high, right? Uh. Yes. Yeah? I did do all of that in my head. That damn girl. Simple mental arithmetic. Uh, simple. No. Prime factorization. The whole point of it is like, it's so not simple that that's what all secure like internet security, whatever. Just girl power. I told you, I'm better at math than most people. That's that's more than just most people. <laughs> Look at you. You just recited a huge string of numbers. That's memory. People have memorized hundreds of digits of pi, and that's essentially, effectively random, since the number is transcendental. That seems pretty astounding, too. Versus 25. Where did you find that number, anyway? Don't ask. Can't tell me, huh? Fine. I'm pretty sure that's the key to the code, though. I know the Myrmidons use prime factors for their keys. So, would that have been... Another question mark, or...? Yeah, I guess so. I guess that would have been another... Duh, what do we do, guys? But now we're going to find out what we do. And there aren't a lot of 25-digit numbers that turn out to be the third power of a prime number. Well... There are actually... I mean... There are actually a lot of those. Probably. Well... Hmm... I wonder how many there are, but I think there kind of are a lot of them. But as far as a very specific property, that's fairly specific. I think there's a very good chance that number you memorized was specifically created by someone. I agree with that, at least. Well, look at the prime factors of your number. They're all the same thing. 198,449,351 to the third power. I think that's our hint for cracking the code. Well, I guess that would mean use those nine digits. 
in each of those, and the fact that there's three pairs of them would be the code there. I don't know how to apply that still. You still don't get it? Try to remember the code we saw in the infirmary. All right, so it's basically saying use that, use the, the prime factor three times, once on each of the two lines. What did it say on the monitor? Right. Okay. On the second row. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, I couldn't remember that. I remember that they do. Wow, you've got a pretty impressive memory. Yeah. Almost like a machine. We could really use someone like you back at the... Um... You use 198,449,351 to point you to the right letters. I agree with that. Well, the first number is one, so take the first letter. Billy! You're gonna go through all of that, and then that's the system you're gonna use... Or, or, oh wait, oh no, you're gonna do one, and then move forward nine, and then move forward eight. But no, those add up to... Those add up to way more than... Wait, no, they won't. No, because... Each string is 20 long, I think they said. C to H5, N to O10, N to X, D to O... No, 22. So there's 44 letters in each set. So that would be... Now that'll add up to below 44, so... Let's see. Unfortunately, there's so much crud on the screen, I can't actually read anything. Let's see. So C, forward 9, forward 8, forward 4, forward 4. C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, O, 1, 2, oh no, it's 9 first, right? Or unless, it couldn't mean the 9th letter, the 8th letter, the 4th, the 4th, because that would be two J's in a row. So, 1984, 1984. First letter, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, O. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, M. 4, P. 4, L. C, O, M, P, O. 9, 3, 5, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, E. T completed. The next number is nine, so go nine yeah, just yeah, keep yeah. going into make sense. Yes, yes it does. Completed. Um completed. Oh, good. The code sheet won't be displayed when you input your answer, so it'd be wise to solve it now. Oh, well good. So it is good that I just did the thing she said. Closing this window will take you to the input screen. Completed? Are you sure? Uh huh. Completed, completed, completed. Hmm. Well, I can't remember the code like you can, but if you're certain, I believe you. All right, then. I wonder what completed is supposed to mean, then. Hmm. Aha! Huh? What are you talking about? Long story. What transmitter? Suddenly, my mind was full of memories that hadn't been there a moment before. It was like a wave had washed away the sand, revealing a bed of precious gems underneath. Brain Blast! Okay, so we're going to be able to yell, oh crap, it's Dio. My sacred mission is at last complete. These two hands, mankind is saved. I am your well-made flesh. In your name, I give thanks. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, why not? Dumbass. Yep. 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 Hey, are you listening to me? <laughs> then answer my question. What the hell was that? What's this about a transmitter? Uh-huh. Well, I mean, yeah, that's probably the response I would have if someone started talking about it. They would just say, it's Dio. Wait. Don't tell me you're one of the Myrmidons. <laughs> Point. <All> right. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. We're all down in the floor B warehouse. Oh, it's time for this, huh? Well, all of us but Luna and Clark. Why? I know that! Hmm. Tenmyoji told us about them. Okay. He said he'd show us where they were, so we all followed him down to the Floor B warehouse. I'm assuming you left Quark with Luna? Yeah, anyway. When we showed up, Fi and Kay were already there. Well, all of a sudden, Fi, Tenmyoji, and Dio all started yelling at each other. Huh? Why? Did something happen? Right. Right. So, blah, blah, blah. That seems odd. So everyone's at each other's throats. Fi only had one BP, too. The choice seems like a perfectly valid defensive move. Weird how you didn't notice that while you were trying to sa save your own ass, but all right. Uh, just come with me. Kay's trying to calm them down, but there's only one of him. <laughs> hey, okay. Okay. See, Alice, when you're not trying to kill me, we actually make a decent team. Okay. Everyone's mad. Stupid? What about this is stupid? We're talking about my life, you self-righteous dick! <laughs> He's got a point. But don't worry, we're going to have a reason for everyone to get along really soon. Hmm. Hard to trust someone who tried to kill me. Same to you. He told you letting Dio vote was a stupid idea. What did you think he was gonna do? Might as well have pressed the button yourself. That's a little harsh. I couldn't just leave Quark alone. That's no excuse. And where do you get off telling me I shouldn't have picked Betray? Did you even think that through? Right. She would have died. What? I was supposed to pick Ally? If I'd done that, I'd be dead right now. Uh -huh. I could say the same thing to you. Damn good thing Dio didn't choose Ally. He wouldn't have done that because he's a dickhead. Please, that's enough from both of you. Sickness right. This isn't the time to be bickering with each other. Right, especially since I'm about to say something really wild, probably. Oh, you don't get to talk. You tried to betray Clover and escape on your own. Perhaps. But I think that's better than merely killing someone. Well, well, I only did it so that she wouldn't kill Temioji. I don't buy it. All right. Guys, listen to me. Everyone tackle Leo. What? Is this what you were talking about earlier? Yes. Well, spit it out then. Please, explain what's going on here. I can't, but it's Dio. <laughs> what? There we go. <laughs> what are you on? You think I set those bombs? Uh-huh. Hey, if you're gonna accuse me, you better have some pretty damn good evidence, pal. 
I had a vision from an alternate future. Oh yeah? Where the hell did you get that fact? Fun as it was, I knew taunting alone wouldn't be enough to make him defend. So what are we going to do to make him slip up? Well, you see, I'm actually from Free the Soul. Oh, this is going to be an interesting gambit. Free the Soul? What's that? Some kind of hippie shoe company? Very funny. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, ho, ho. I leapt on that moment of the weakness like a hungry dog on a steak. Okay, I pressed forward, pulling out every fact I could remember. Alright, brother, I left, and the Myrmidons, and the clone. Still not convinced. How about this? Uh huh. Read the code. What? No, that's not possible. Ho 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 ho! I was sent here to watch your every move. Seems like our wise number brother doesn't trust you. He suspects betrayal. No! You're lying! I assure you I'm not. Because you lied with a woman. You are unclean. <sighs> no! No! You have to be lying! Brother trusts me! That's why he chose me for this mission. Why would he make me the leader of the Myrmidons if he... Sucker! Said, why would he have made me the leader of the Myrmidons if... <laughs> Wait. What the hell? Are you fucking kidding me? Sucker! What the hell was all that? Beats me. You know all those things! Don't give me that shit! Uh, what's going on? <laughs> what are these Myrmidons? Well, Alice is about to be really mad. Uh, what's Alice doing right now? So you mean to say someone from the Myrmidons planted the bombs? And Dio pretty much just admitted to doing it? Uh-huh. Bastards. I'll never forgive you. Uh-huh. I am going to kill you! Fair enough. Uh-oh. Knife. Whoa there. Oh, detonator. I like my women a little feisty. But you're taking it a little too far, sweetheart. Tone it down. What? You see this? You know what it is, don't you? Yes. Oh. oh my god. Is that... Is that the detonator? Exactly. And I assume you know what happens if I press this button? Yes. I think I do. I'm guessing it'll set off both of the bombs. Well... There's probably more than two. Mm, well, I wouldn't say... both. Uh-huh. You mean there's still a number one bomb we haven't found? And probably a number zero bomb. Wink, wink. Correct. And there's one more, too. Mm-hmm. No. There are four bombs? Exactly. I planted four bombs. There are the ones numbered one, two, and three. But there's also one more. Bomb number zero. Okay. Add all that up, and you're looking at about four tons of explosive power. Those go off, and it's all over. That's enough oomph to turn this whole place into a smoking crater. Aren't you forgetting something? That'd kill you too. He's a religious nut. He wouldn't care. So? I'm ready for that. I've got spares. Ha <laughs> ha. Spares? Is that what Sigma was talking about? Uh-huh. Yeah. Clones. Stop! Let me go! 
Still let go of me, you asshole! No! A gazelle with a snack in the mouth of a lion! I bet he has a cyanide pill or something stupid. Serves you right. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You, her, all of you. God, you're stupid. What? Why? See that detonator you threw to Sigma? You activated it. If it gets more than a meter away from me, it sets itself off. Well. We figured someone might try to take it away, so we put in a little safeguard. Since you two were kind enough to take it away from me, the bombs have gone from remote control to countdown timer. Go ahead and destroy the detonator if you want. Won't make any difference now. The bombs are gonna go off no matter what. <laughs> About 30 minutes. Hmm. 30 minutes. Oh no. My condolences. What can we do to stop them? I told you that already. First, we need the device that allows us to input information. Then we plug it into each bomb and enter the codes. Hey, Alice. Who the hell are you? How do you know all this? None of your damn business. Just tell me where the input device is. <laughs> well, that's none of your damn business. <laughs> Fuck! Stop! You're gonna break it! Well, I mean, if you've got 30 minutes left, we might as well make them painful. Of course. That's the plan. Please, stop! Oh, now you're acting like a bitch, huh? Just tell me what I want to know. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll tell you. It's in my coat. The right-hand pocket. Clover, check it out. Right. It's no use! There's nothing here! Did you lie to me? No! I, I swear, keep looking! Oh, wait! Did you pick the wrong side? There is something in here! <laughs> hey! What is this? Huh? I can't see it. Ah, it's a cyanide pill. Bring it over here. Yep. You idiot. Yoink! Gulp. <laughs> you dummy. Shit! W what What was that? Cyanide bell. Poison, I guess. What? Damn! How could I be so stupid? Tell us. How about you give us the deactivation codes instead? Deactivation? <laughs> you guys are persistent. Fine. Not gonna do you much good anyway. And I'll tell you, but you only get one. Huh? This is the deactivation code for bomb three. Ready? L X Q L H C N M. So we're really going to have to be jumping through a whole bunch of crap to f disarm all these motherfuckers, huh? And we're going to have to figure out where he stashed the thing. My body will be a part of the foundation of a bright future. Such a beautiful world. May brother live. In everlasting glory. Well, shit. He only gave us the password for one of the bombs. This is bad. What are we gonna do? 
I mean, honestly, if there's going to be a different code for all of them, I'm not going to personally remember them. Especially since they didn't expect me to remember the 25-digit code. I don't think they're going to expect me to remember 36 separate letters. Or at least I hope not. But again, I mean, at least this one everyone will know. So we can turn that one off, at least. Because the first one was LXA QNS GDQ. And this one is Bagels and Locks, Large Hadron Collider, No More Heroes. How much time have we got? 25 minutes. We also don't know how to what the thing where the thing is we need to turn it off. Are you sure? Yes. When you told us the time, I checked my bracelet. It said exactly 30 minutes. You mean the bombs are gonna go off the same time the next set of doors opens? Yes. The time on your bracelet is the time we have left. This isn't good. No. I was hoping that we might be able to escape through the white doors, but it takes five minutes for the primary door to open and close. So... Yes, I know. There's no way we can get through them before the explosion happens. Hmm. Well, there's no point just standing around. We should start looking. We need three things. The password input device. Uh-huh. Right. We also need passwords for all the bombs other than number three. That's a long list of stuff to go get. Exactly. <laughs> Hold on. Let me check. Mm-hmm. Damn. He's clean. Then we'll just have to hope we find it somewhere. Tenmyoji, can you go tell Luna what's happened? Right. I'm on it. Good. The rest of you, let's move out. We can do this. Sure. Let's go. No luck. Ten. Five. Alright, well this is probably where we die and Luna and Phi says, Well, thanks for everything. Okay, so we are so we are gonna need to carry that other one over. So, LXQ, LHC, NMR is, is for three, and zero is still LXA, QNS, GDQ. Oh well. Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. I'm gonna guess this was also a real end since Alice told us a whole bunch of crap. All right, two in one night. How about that? Bad end. Okay, so here's what I'm think again. I'm forced. Here's what I'm forced to think. I think that the path I went toward that password we don't have is technically the real ending, since it's the only thing where we're stuck, and it doesn't have a question mark on it. And I'm pretty sure it's also the, the physically longest. 
So I think that might be the... Uh, supposedly, that's where the true ending is hiding out. Everything else, we're going to be finding the character endings and figuring things out from there. Alright, so we have... Let's think. Uh, Clover's ending was just a lot of information. Nothing about the bombs or anything like that. Except the thing about the neostigmine and a whole bunch of weirdness. So Dio gave us one password. Alice gave us another password. So we have two more passwords and an input device to find, and also the locations. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder, so again, I wonder if, the, well, I guess the, the time that we see Fly, it was like, oh crap, there's a thing we could do, we couldn't turn it off in time, whoopsie doodle. Uh. Hmm. Alright, well, first things first, I'm pretty sure that our estimation of how many episodes this is going to take is probably wrong now, because I think that this was this is the end that we're getting for the I don't know if I want to get it in I think that concentrating all of our betraying Luna in one go is a good stopping point. Unless we want to find out whatever useless bad end is probably the other direction. Right, so I mean, we could find out what's over here, and then call it. And we could also find out what's over here, and then call it. And here. We have a couple, and we can save those little nubbin ends, which are probably not going to amount to anything. Again, if I had to guess, those are probably just going to be skull ends, game over, haha, ha, you suck. All right, so it seems like at, at the end of most of these, at least where the, where the point, the drop point is, they branch into get a real ending, get a bogus ending, because let's look, this one we're at a novel that stops, and the rest of these go one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there'd be eight characters besides us, and then I'm sure we're probably the real ending down here at nine. So we get all the endings for all the other characters, so five's probably hiding somewhere in here. We get everything we need to probably disarm the bombs and at least save ourselves in this one. Maybe. And everybody else is just hanging out. So we still have a couple of other doors to run through, but I think that that's a good place to stop for today because next time we can chase down one of these and also picks off some i think next time we'll start off just by cleaning up all these ends that are probably a bunch of nothing and then we can go and start doing some more puzzle rooms here here and here i think that would be a safe reasonable system of going about this Let me skip! Round and round we go! See? For this, it's not letting me skip. Now it is. Only. Okay. Um, hello? Right, so. I think that's a good plan. Next time, we'll start off by collecting these bogus ends. Which probably don't serve any purpose. Except we might as well see what's there. And then we can start tracing down some more of the thinky paths, as it were. Let me just check one more thing before we call it a day. 
Did we get any more? No, I think we read everything. Did we really only do one puzzle room today? Jeez. Yeah. Let's see. Four or five. So room six. Room eight. Thirteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. So theoretically, in this tree, there are probably five more rooms proper. So that'd be one, two, three, and then three more hiding somewhere in here. And I guess everything in the secret file is just information that we get later on in that path anyway. At least if we go the right direction. Because I got we got the stuff about Free the Soul in the Dio one where we uncovered his stuff. And then we went forward from here. We got what we needed. We got to the end. Okay. So we still need to figure out how to save our own life, save our own hide. But I think the best thing to do now is next time we will proceed with more cleanup. We'll hit those bogus ends there. Yeah, that's why I mean, yeah, that's definitely what spoilers but not a big deal would amount to. Okay, so the plan for next time is Mop was we'll start with some mop up on the Dio branch, the Clover branch, and the Alice branch. Get those officially squared away. And then we'll continue down with this other with uh, finding Alice, getting her saved, figure out what's down this way. Because this one seems involved. Like, again, like Clover ended it all with, like, Clover was a ton of information, and she ended there. And Dio was a lot more, and he ended there. So, my guess would be that everybody else is maybe somewhere on Clover's level, mostly everyone else. Maybe one or two more make it down here. I mean, these are probably people's endings. But my guess is that the only person whose ending would be is that would be that involved would be Phi. And again, all of the bomb stuff is de is branching off the side. Okay, this is murder, murder, bomb. So bomb is hang. All the bomb stuff is probably hanging out in the other branches somewhere, but the conclusion to the bomb plot is in here, because the bombs I don't even think show up in the rest of it is. Because the only time we ever found the second bomb was in a situation where we already found the first one. And the murder has us all shook by these. Of course, I wonder why Dio stabbed her, and I, we still don't know who she is. His We'll probably find that out whenever we get either Tenmyuji or Quark's endings. Because someone he clearly knows. But for some reason Quark doesn't recognize them? I don't know. Anyway. Alright. Oh boy, they're all going to be taking a toll out on me like this, huh? Again, I would imagine that based on what we know... Everybody else's roles in this might be somewhat smaller, except for Phi. But, uh, good grief. And also we have to figure out who the hell K is. That's somewhere in there, too. Hmm. But again, the, the, so we have, we, we're very much in the, the thick of the obvious meta plot here. The question now remains, what are we doing here? And that, I still think the answer to that is some sort of quantum computational time-jumping nonsense. So, me and Phi are obviously related in some way in that regard. Because she has some ability to jump between knowing things. So we know that explains her. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Can I just talk at least? Jeez. Interrupting with everything. Alright. But I think that'll about do it. 
All right, so like I said, next time, clean up and continuation, and then we'll start doing more puzzle rooms and everything. Uh, as always, I mean, I'm... Hmm. Well, tomorrow I've got something I'm going to be doing all day, at least, well, quote-unquote doing all day. But I've got plans for most of the day. Uh, but I would imagine at some point after that, eh, we'll probably have something more tomorrow. Yeah, I, I'm like 90% sure. And we'll have something, more likely than not. Definitely Sunday, probably tomorrow. And as always, I don't know, so if you really want to know, I guess you'll just have to subscribe. I mean, and tell all your friends. Goodness. All right. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Have a pleasant evening. Now fuck off.